Hey guys, I'm Katie Wilson, a designer for Make. Six years ago, Make author Charles Platt built his first version of this modern looking LED lamp. Since then, the LED has come a long way. The original lamp used a whopping 72 10 millimeter LEDs, but today's common 5 millimeter LEDs are so bright, Charles was able to use only 18 of them, and it still sheds some serious light. Follow along with this weekend project and build your own trusty little big lamp. Our little big lamp uses a minimum of electronic components and a super simple circuit, making it a fun and easy build for folks who want to apply their soldering chops to a useful and rewarding build. Author Charles Platt chose to power the circuit with a 12 volt DC power supply, which makes it perfect for use in motorhomes where LEDs are ideal for energy conservation. And for maximum energy efficiency, instead of adding a series resistor for each LED, the 18 LEDs are wired in threes. This means you need 10 volts DC for each set. How to get 10 volts from 12 volts power? Pulse width modulation. You send a stream of pulses, too rapid for the eye to see, and vary the gaps between them to limit the average current. Here we add a potentiometer, which also acts as a dimmer. The lamp body is made from common PVC fittings and PVC pipe that you heat and bend to your desired shape with the help of an extension spring. Once you learn this basic circuit, the housing possibilities are endless. The full build instructions, materials list, circuit, and cutting template are available on the project page. To make the little big lamp, you'll need these parts. These supplies. And these tools. First, we'll make the lamp head. If you have access to a drill press, the easiest way to cut out a circle of ABS plastic is with an adjustable circle cutter. Alternatively, you can use a handsaw and sand down the edges of the plastic to make a circle. Once you have your circle, you'll use the template to drill holes for the LEDs. Download the template from the project page, tape your template to the circle, and use a punch to poke through the center of each hole. Remove the paper and drill a small pilot hole through each indentation. Then drill a larger hole that will accept the LEDs. Next, trim the LED leads, making the long leads roughly a half inch and the shorter ones a quarter inch, so you can still tell them apart. Referring to the LED wiring diagram on the project page, push fit an LED into each hole, being careful to get the polarity right. Solder the LED leads together and add wires per the diagram. The red wire powers the positive sides of all the LEDs, while the other wires are negative. Test the assembly by attaching the positive side of your 12 volt DC power supply to the red wire, and the negative side of the power supply to your 680 ohm resistor. Touch the free end of the resistor very briefly to each wire leading to the LEDs. They should light up in threes. If you made a polarity error, the resistor should protect you from burning anything out. Epoxy the LED plate into the wide end of the PVC reducer to form the head of the lamp. Set it aside to harden. If you wish, start by sanding the unsightly text off the PVC pipe. Then insert the extension spring through the pipe and wave the heat gun back and forth along the section that you want to bend while rotating it. Keep the heat gun moving and be patient. Eventually the pipe will soften and can be bent. When you've finished, remove the spring and saw the pipe to the size lamp neck you want. Make another two circular ABS plates to fit the narrow end of your lamp head and drill holes in their centers to fit the exterior diameter of your half inch pipe. Epoxy the plates to the lamp neck as shown here. Thread the wires through the neck, then glue the neck assembly into the head of the lamp. Next, make two circular ABS plates to fit in the PVC coupling for the base of the lamp and cut holes in their centers to fit the half inch pipe. Epoxy the plates into the base with one halfway down and the other at the very top. Then epoxy the neck into the plates, leaving plenty of room at the bottom for your circuit board and potentiometer. The little big lamp's simple schematic is configured to match your breadboard and it's downloadable from the project page. For testing, you'll insert a 10 microfarad capacitor for C3. 
breadboard the circuit as shown in the schematic, omitting the Darlington array. Test your circuit by applying 12 volts DC and attaching a single LED between R3 and negative ground. The potentiometer should now adjust the flashing speed of the LED. If not, you've made a wiring error. Remove your test LED and connect the 555 to the Darlington array via R3 as shown in the schematic. Darlingtons don't source current, they sync current. So connect the red wire from your LED array directly to your 12 volts DC source. Then run the negative return wires into the right hand pins of the Darlington chip. Its left hand pins are all driven by the 555 timer. Remove the 10 microfarad capacitor that you used for C3 and substitute a 0.1 microfarad capacitor so that the lights will flash fast enough to exceed your persistence of vision. Transpose your circuit to a piece of perf board using point-to-point -point wiring. The largest round PCB from the kit fits perfectly in the base. Next, you'll be drilling three holes, one for the power supply wire and two for the potentiometer. For the power cord, drill a hole in the back of the base, cut the plug off the cord, feed it through the hole, and tie a strain relief knot inside. You can then solder it directly to the perf board. Drill a hole for the potentiometer shaft, then insert the shaft, mark where the tab goes, and drill a small hole for the tab. Mount the circuit in the base of the lamp using a few dabs of epoxy. You'll need a stable base to keep your lamp from falling over. We've opted for another piece of ABS plastic. Mark where you want the lamp to sit, then use a circle cutting tool to cut out the base. Use epoxy to affix the lamp to the base. If you want to give your lamp extra sheen, you could paint it with polyurethane to give it a glossy finish. Your lamp is complete, for the time being anyway. Another six years from now, you may be able to build an even smaller version, replacing the 18 LEDs with just one. If you build your own lamp or make any exciting modifications, let us know in the comments on the project page.